the Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute CMFRI was established as a research station on the 3rd of February 1947 at Zoological Laboratory of Madras University based on a proposal by Dr Bayani Prashad who was the then director of Zoological Survey of India Dr H Srinivas Rao a doyen of pelagic fisheries was the first chief research officer and in 1949 the station was shifted to Mandapam and it was succeeded by Dr N Keshava Panikkar during the subsequent period the station has set up six centers namely Mumbai Chennai Calicut Karwar Tuticorin and Virunyam Since its inception as is evident from the past 70 years from the humble beginning CMFRI has emerged as one of the leading tropical marine fisheries research institutes of the world Under the leadership of Dr S Jones as the director CMFRI devoted its research attention towards the estimation of marine fisheries landings and effort taxonomy of marine organisms and the bioeconomic characteristics of the exploited stocks of fin fish and shellfish One of the major achievements was the development of stratified multi-stage random sampling method for fish landings and effort estimation which CMFRI maintains even today In 1967, CMFRI has joined Indian Council of Agricultural Research (ICAR) family, and in 1971, the headquarters of CMFRI was shifted from Mandapam to Kochi under the leadership of the then director, Dr. S. Z. Kasing. During the early 1970s, CMFRI turned to augmenting production from the sea through mariculture as a pioneering step in the entire South Asian region. For the decade led by Dr E G Silas as the director a major part of the research effort was diverted towards sea farming and mariculture and this effort paid rich dividends in the form of viable farm and hatchery technologies Center for Advanced Studies in Mariculture was established under UNDP ICAR program which pioneered capacity building in mariculture research and development Research efforts helped India enter the global tuna fishing scenario. A major thrust was given on infrastructure development through acquisition of land, buildings, laboratories and research vessels in the headquarters, regional and research centers. Multiple scientific research cruises were conducted using FORV, Sagar Sampatha, Skipjack and Kadalmi. Pioneering research attempt on remote sensing and satellite imaging was done in this decade. Exploration of new areas on conservation and management of mammals and sea turtles was another priority in addition to strengthening research acumen through international collaboration. The fifth decade under Dr. P. S. B. R. James witnessed a sustained tempo of marine fisheries research on the mariculture front. Commercial bivalve farming became a popular women empowerment program during this stint. A new thrust was given on technology transfer for marine fisheries resource augmentation. CMFRI headquarters shifted to the present building during this period. The sixth decade witnessed the guidance of three directors, Dr. M. Devraj up to 1999, Dr. V. N. Pillay up to 2000, followed by Prof. Dr. Mohan Joseph Modil up to 2007, who led the major part of the decade. In the beginning phase of the decade, priority was given for breeding and aquariculture of marine ornamental species. In the later phase, during the period of Prof. Modil. Multi-dimensional activities such as modernization of CMFRI and centers, establishment of modern library as a state-of-the-art digital repository, marine biodiversity museum, multi-purpose hatchery at Mandapam, establishment of two new divisions namely mariculture and marine biodiversity and initiation of sea cage farming were the hallmarks of the decade. The crowning glory came in the form of CMFRI bagging the best ICAR Institute award in 
the seventh decade under the leadership of Dr. G. Saida Rao gave emphasis on a multidisciplinary approach to research in marine capture and culture fisheries, which gained recognition as a premier institute comparable to any well-established marine laboratories in the world, boasting the Mary culture through popularization of sea cage farming throughout the Indian coastal belts and breakthroughs in breeding and hatchery production technology of Cobia and Silver Pompano were a couple of major achievements. The last part of the decade, from 2013 onwards till date, under the leadership of Dr. A. Gopalakrishnan, focused attention was given for sustaining the marine capture fisheries and promoting mariculture through interstate collaborative networks. The major hallmarks include the establishment of National Brood Bank Facility for Corbia and Pompano, initiation of All India Network Program in Mariculture, establishment of Marine Policy Cell and Fish Aging Laboratory, formulation of National Marine Fisheries Policy, commercialization of nutraceutical products, providing inputs to the state governments on minimum legal size, policy briefs on fish aggregating devices, sharks, sea cucumber, sea hose, light fishing, etc., marine fisheries policies for coastal states, breeding and seed production of orange sported grouper, Indian pompano and pink ear sea breams, international collaborations, Establishment of GIS database of fish landing centers, securing ISO certification, inclusion in the prestigious CITES listed organizations in the country, winning Best Annual Report Award of ICAR. Switch part of the award, engagements with regular stakeholder consultancy taken to the new heights through novel initiatives in co-governance, responsible fisheries and gender mainstreaming and enabling farmers to achieve national level recognitions, etc. A research centre was also established in Diga in West Bengal to address the issues on marine fisheries and mariculture along the northeast coast of India. Now, CMFRI has three regional centers at Mandabam Camp, Vishagapatanam and Varaval with the research centers located at Mumbai, Chennai, Calicut, Karwa, Tutukaran, Vilnium, Mangalore and Diga in addition to 15 field centers throughout the coastal belts of the country and one KVK in Nyarakil, Ernakulam. Moreover, as of today, CMFRI is the largest fisheries research organization in the world with 154 scientists, over 600 staff operated through 10 major divisions. CMFRI has a vision on sustainable marine fisheries through management intervention and enhanced coastal fish production through mariculture for improved coastal livelihoods. The mission is to develop information-based management system for changing over from open access to regulated regime in marine fisheries, augment coastal fish production through mariculture and sea ranching and restore critical marine habitats. Objectives are Marine Fishery Resource Assessment Productivity and Production Enhancement through mariculture Transfer of Technology, Training and Consultancy Achievements of CMFRI estimates the marine fishery resources for more than 1,200 species covering 1,511 fish landing centers on a GIS base for fish stock assessment for deriving management and control measures. The National Marine Fishery Resources Database was generated on marine fish landings for sustainable management. Cage farming protocols for food fishes integrated multi-tropic aquaculture by integrating seaweed with cobia farming, production technology of echoia and mabe pearls, broodstock development and larval rearing of culturable food fishes, hatchery production technology for mussel, edible oyster and marine ornamental fishes and establishment of recirculating aquaculture systems for year-round seed production. Described 
255 marine species new to science from various groups of fishes. Commercialized nutraceuticals, green muscle extract and green algal extract for osteoarthritis, anti-diabetic extract and anti-hypercholesterolomic extract for dyslipidemia and obesity. Varna and Varsha series of ornamental fish feeds, fish disease detecting kits like Noda Detect. Climate change impact studies on marine fisheries identified the vulnerabilities and came up with resilient strategies. Launched Fish Watch, a web portal for real-time landing and market information from Indian coastal belts. Acquired two new fishing vessels, Silver Pompano and Cuddlemail for offshore research. Under the HRD initiatives, the CMFRI conducts regular training programs in fisheries and marine biology. Coordinated India's first Marine Stewardship Council certification for the short neck clam fishery in the Ashtamudi Lake, Kerala. Provided inputs to Government of Kerala which notified minimum legal size for 14 marine fish species out of 58 recommended for sustainable exploitation. CMFRI conducts marine fisheries census in every five years as a ready reckoner on socio-economic status of fisher folk. Research outputs are made available online through eprints at cmfri.org.in as the open access institutional repository ranked first in ICAR and third in India. CMFRI offers consultancy services in specialized areas and so far handled 117 projects which generated a revenue of about 18 crores of Indian rupees. The Agricultural Technology Information Center serves as a single window delivery system for the technologies and services as an interface between fisher folk, entrepreneurs and scientists which takes part in exhibitions and extension activities. Similarly, KVK Ernakulam of CMFRI develops and disseminates location-specific technological modules through technology assessment, refinement and demonstration and to act as knowledge and resource center for agriculture, fisheries and allied activities. Marine Aquaria and Asia's largest biodiversity museum also attract thousands of visitors annually. Now CMFRI celebrating its platinum jubilee after serving the sector for seven decades has grown significantly in size and stature emerging as a leading tropical marine fisheries research institute in the world displaying an unparalleled research acumen and unbridled commitment which helped in boosting the marine fish production and management of the fisheries sector and for the livelihood of 40 lakh fisher folk of the country.